all right in this video we'll discuss uh, top gainer stocks uh, here you can see i just open uh, this one uh, money control website so here we can see yesterday top gainer stocks so first see here tata motors and uh, we will see here is it their buy opportunity or not uh, so first to go to tata motors now tata motors uh, here you can see this is a daily chart and yesterday you can see here price created a uh, long bullish candle so most of the people are asking me can i go for buy now here but uh, according to my analysis uh, so as i said yesterday uh, they form inside bar so we are looking for buy so my previous video i explained here and uh, today i'm not uh, looking for buy in tata motors so i stopped buying in tata motors so let me uh, show you here so first here you can see this is the uh, monthly chart and we have seen uh, that is a strong uh, resistance right now and uh, there are uh, 200 exponential moving average so price are uh, uh, just below this uh, resistance line so that is why i'm not looking for buy if price break the level of 295 uh, so definitely I'll go for buy after that All right and uh, uh, here you can see in a small time frame they're running an uptrend but uh, raised in line a little more above so I stop buying here so definitely I'm looking for other stocks and next Adani port uh, so as I said yesterday Adani port uh, Adani port okay uh, first we must find out some support and resistance so now here I can see Adani uh, port all time high and right now price on the over both zone and if you want to see daily time frame and they are bouncing off uh, 20 moving embers so as I said and the price are over both right now so I'm looking for a pullback uh, towards supporting line so I'll go for buy uh, let me show you the supporting line mm, and I connect this uh, area and now see uh, that that is the resistance line and we need a pullback around level of uh, 540 and yeah in this area i'm looking for buy otherwise i'm not looking for buy or i'm not interested to take uh, buy position in adani port uh, because it is uh, over both zone so i never enter i need a pullback all right so third uh we pro let's just jump to we pro mm, we pro first see daily uh, daily chart now here you can see uh, but here you can see uh, we pro on the form inside bird and if we combine these three birds uh, three candle uh, this is called mo uh, mo morning star right so I think you people knows about that so this uh, candlestick pattern called a morning star so how we trade by using morning star so most of the people doesn't know how to trade by using candlestick pattern so i'll show you here uh, among that morning star this pattern where is the high point this one high point right have you make sense uh, this three candle candle one candle two and candle three where is the higher point this is this one is high point and the high point is four four six all right so now you can see price pullback bounce again and the pullback they form a morning star and it's a probability to bounce again so in that case we must find out some specific entry point okay now let's just jump to a small time frame okay now you can see it should look like that all right so here you can see uh, price create a new high pullback and we need a breakout so once price break this level so definitely we will go for buy that is the original trading strategy so you have to patience all right and the third uh, 
Maruti Suzuki. Uh, let's just jump to Maruti Suzuki. But this stock price is too high. So leave it. So let me explain again. So Maruti Suzuki. Where is the Maruti Suzuki? Maruti Suzuki. Yeah, this one 8000 something like that. So this cost is too high. So basically now I can see they are clearly running an uptrend and in a daily time frame and even here you can see they form an inside bar yesterday and that is a break a break breakout point and that was our buy opportunity but again we have a buy opportunity in uh marty suzuki so they are creating higher high higher low higher high higher low and it is a probability to create a higher high so first you must find out the resistance in the large time frame like weekly or monthly uh, so already broke this uh, resistance line so next resistance line would be uh, somewhere there all right uh, almost uh, 9000 all right so we have seen buy opportunity here but let's just jump to a small time frame of 5 minutes or 15 minutes all right they are bouncing on specific moving average so users go through uh, here you can see we have seen first bounce from 20 again retrace or pullback and we are looking for buy and it's a probability to create a new high that is the marty suzuki mm, next uh, tech mahinda now see them tech mahinda yeah, this one tech uh, Mahinda. Okay, uh, first uh, here you can see this is a daily yesterday, and they form a morning star. As I said, exactly they form morning star candlestick pattern near key level. Have you seen this one morning star candlestick pattern? So as I said, you apply that trading strategy, and I can see exactly uh, they form in a key level. They are bouncing up twenty and exactly near 20 moving inverse. Uh, remember one one thing always remember candlestick pattern should be appear in a right place and a right direction so first we must know is it a right place uh, to find this answer you have to find the behavior you must know the market behavior so what is the market behavior market is bouncing of 20 that is the behavior all right they are bouncing of 20 and uh, right now uh, exactly price near 20 moving average and this candlestick pattern are forming in a right place all right now this is the first criteria and the uh, right place and the next the right direction so when uh, morning star form it is a sim uh, it is a sign to be bullish right uh, morning star so i think everybody knows all right and then now we must know the trend is uh, when morning star uh, is forming the trend should be a uptrend so here I can see trend is a uptrend all right and exactly they are forming so we are looking for buy this is the golden opportunity or you can or you can say this is the confluence area all right now let me show in a small time frame mm, okay so let's just jump to here uh, this is the 15 minute time frame and let's see here or oh, again see five minutes so this is the support line supporting line and they broke this is a major support remember this is a major support okay so in that area um, uh, ab above the supporting line they are forming a sideway market they are running a sideway market have you seen this is called price consolidation uh, so most of the people are doing big mistake when price near this resistance line they enter in buy again price pull back and hit their sell. so in that case you just wait to break this resistance line so after that you just go for buy mm, okay uh, next uh, let's check it next mm, okay final one uh, let's see final one only UPL mm. UPL, okay, this one UPL, and uh, five minute. Let's check it daily chart. 
and continuously running toward upside that I'm not interested to buy in EPL uh, because prices are too far from moving averages. All right, so I'm not interested. It is a probability to give a pullback very soon. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.